morning all. We're at a place called Riddlebane, New South Wales. I've got three days off and I'm going around to have a travel and have a look at some stuff. First things first, I just realised I've left all my cameras back in Sydney. So now I've got my Samsung A73 5G phone out to do the filming. So yes, don't know how that's happened. I've got a, my bag and it's just full of torches, not a single camera, GoPro, etc. Anyway, not to worry. I'll do it on this and see how it goes. Anyway, we are currently looking at St. Bridget's Church. This church, there's no foundation stone, so they're not sure 100% when it was laid down, but around 1865. It's called St. Bridget's Catholic Church. It's no longer open to the public. I don't believe it does any more services. But yes, this is just one of the couple of items I have on the way here to go and have a look at. So yeah, lovely church, very good condition, new roofs, so it's obviously maintained quite well by the community here. I actually just discovered a website just then called All Churches Australia which is quite interesting because this was on it but like I said didn't have much information because it's like they said no foundation stone and I'm sure when it was laid. So let's go in and have a quick look inside through here. Looks all still intact. Oh, that's interesting. It is seven degrees at the moment, quite cold. We're gonna have a look at those graves in a minute. Let's see what we can see. 1865, so there you go. Catholic Church and Australian Bicentennial Project, so they must have done a lot of work on well that's only recent this stuff. But must have done a bit of work on it over that period of time. Anyway. Okay. Right, let's go have a quick look at some of these graves. I'll turn back on when I get see anything exciting. I'm gonna try and zoom in and there's a bird of crap in the tree. There he is. God knows what the wind is doing to this. It is windy and freezing. Anyway, I don't know that's going to make anything make the cut. Anyway, here we have some graves 33, 34, 9 11, 25. A lot of older ones here, I can't really read. First one died, Mary Jane. Someone who died 18, 1889. A lot of old graves here. Some sort of flowers on them, fresh flowers, fresh ish flowers. That's 1891, died 82, at 82 years of age. There's some long lives over here. There's a couple there that were that are just 18. I haven't seen any children in graves yet, but I'm assuming these little ones might be. Oh, good. And he's 
my right hand. My hands are freezing at the moment. 1959. This one's from 73. 83. 66. Interesting. To some people, this is very new, so some people still get buried here. These are children, a child, Francis Hannon, three years old in 1893. Then obviously the father died in 1919 at 58. And the mother, I oh know that's the child. Anyway, that's the church. Oh, it's just up there. It's not far away. Alright. We're coming. I can't remember what's going on. We're coming down. We're there next. And, uh, it's a pretty impressive train station. It's going to find a place to get out of the wind so I can make a coffee. It's that windy. Alright. So this is something sort of different. We actually have a working railway here. This is the Yass Railway Station. Now I've seen this a lot of times. I've gone down the Hume. Zoom. That's it. So yeah, I've seen this a lot of times going down the Hume. And it says look for trains. That's a good idea. So this is obviously still in use. Just for the record, I actually have went to Kmart in Yass and bought an $8 selfie stick or tripod that I can use as a selfie stick. I don't want to call it a selfie stick, I call it just a camera holder. Alright, let's see, is this open? Wow. Molding cement works in the background there. Wow! How cool is this? And the beauty of this one is it's still in action. It's called Yes Junction. Actually, Yes itself was uh, is now a museum. I just went there, but it's closed, so we can't actually get in there, which is unfortunate. All right, I think the bridge is closed. This is platform one, and it must be platform two. It said that all passenger trains just go from platform one. So it's closed. It's a shame. Over there is the Hume, you can hear him, see him. We'll be back on that in a minute. We're going to Bowning next. B O W N I N G, Bowning. Little signal tower. What I will assume was probably a toilet, is it? Yeah, it says toilet. So when I took the train to Melbourne, this would have been it. I'm through here, but I went through at night, so I didn't see anything. Oh wow, it's still got all the bits and pieces in there. How cool is that? I've seen better days, but it could be a lot worse. We're going to be playing havoc with the audio, but anyway, worst case scenario is, is I shut off the audio and I do narrate it. Might be worth giving a 
try. Alright, so there you have it. Gas station, or gas junction. Alright, so we're now here at Bounding. Right, it's a private residence, so it's abandoned. Due to probably all the asbestos in there. So the line that goes through here is still live. This is the Melbourne to Sydney. Sydney to Melbourne. So yeah, we'll just tread carefully. It's an old hotel. In the distance there. But yes, so, Bounding Southern Line. Oh yeah, down the back there you got the old crane. We're going to have a quick look at it. Let's go a quick walk down here and have a look at this bridge. Definitely ripped up all the line that was here at some point. The old uh, goods trains would come in here. Passenger here, over the other side. Muddy. It's a lot of rain coming down here this morning. I left Sydney, it was 22 degrees. By the time I was out of Campbell Town, the drops were about 8 or 9 degrees. Getting down as low as 6 at one point. Alright, we've got a bridge. Oh shit, she's got some cracks in her. Brick. It's amazing. Let me widen the. There you go, pigeons. Rats of the sky. It's pretty impressive. Right, I'll walk back down and we'll turn back on. Alright, let's go and have a quick look. So I just have to quickly make my way right over there. I left my bloody keys in my car. I do that a lot. So this is private residence, it's definitely empty. I don't know if you'll be allowed to live in a... They'll be able to at least out a place full of asbestos, as all the sign says here. Clothesline. There'll be an old toilet at some point. Some workers here. See if I can find them. Might be inside, might be able to get inside. Oh, waiting rooms. Okay, there is a door open, so I'm gonna yell out and see if we can go in. I'll turn off for now. Alright, can't see anyone, but if you just come in here, it's where you would enter. Nice old classic fireplace. And, do we have any? We can't enter in there though. Not calling through any holes. There he comes breaking and entering. So we got here. That's about it, I think. <laughs> I can see me. It's the room. The washroom or something. In the day. All right. I think I can actually hear a train. So we might wait. I'll switch off. We might wait. See if that's the case. Oh, yeah, we got here. There's definitely a train coming. Ah, the old toilets. <laughs> Interesting. Right, what do we have? 
I can definitely hear something. Haha! -ha. There it is. How cool is that? See if we can get him to at least wave at us. You can hear the tracks now squealing. That's so impressive. Oh god, that sounds good. We got a whistle, so it makes me feel pretty important. So it's got three engines running, pulling this. That was a very positive outcome. Still hear him. All right, we'll let it go, and uh, our next stop is Gundagai, unless I find something else along the way. Who knows? So, found the guy, he's working here, and uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't have been open, so I've blocked it for him. And uh, yeah, that's it. We'll, uh, as I said, we'll get to gun the guy now. Might have been worth trying to get in there, really, asking him. But then again, if I put up YouTube, people see it, I'll get in trouble. Anyway, who cares?